Welcome back to Storytime. Have you ever worried? Sometimes, you know, something's coming up ahead of you and you just sit and think, this might not be fun. Or, oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Well, that's worry. And Jesus' friends, his disciples, they worried too. And that's our story today from stories that Jesus told. It's the worried disciples. Jesus quite often climbed up into the hills to teach his disciples quietly, away from the crowds. On one special day in spring, the flowers were blooming and the birds were singing. Jesus was telling his disciples that real happiness comes not from having things, but from doing what is right. Many people think the way to be happy is to have lots of money, lots of clothes, and lots of food. So, of course, they are always worried in case they lose their money. Jesus was talking about people like that. He pointed to a bird singing nearby. Look at that bird, he said. He can't grow corn or work in the fields. But he doesn't worry. He knows that God, his heavenly Father, will feed him. So why do you, who can work and grow food, worry about what you're going to eat? If God feeds the helpless little bird, can you trust him to feed you? That's a great picture of the birds and the flowers and the butterflies and the dragonflies. Then Jesus pointed to a beautiful wild lily. Look at that flower, he said. No king ever wore clothes as beautiful as the white petals of that lily. Yet, the lily doesn't stitch and can't sew like you. So why do you worry about your clothes? If God dresses that lily so beautifully, won't he also care for you? If we're not to worry about money, food, or clothes, what are we to worry about? Well, if you know that you belong to your Heavenly Father and are trusting Him and living to please Him, you need not worry at all. He is the perfect Father and He will always love and care for His own children. And we are His children. Just like He cares for those birds and butterflies and dragonflies and loves them, He cares for us as well. And that makes me feel really good. Well, thanks for being with me today at Storytime. Have a great week, and I will see you later. Bye.